Hi guys, welcome to ER for you, fastest retail billing software. This is Ashrita Mohite, and today we are going to see the usage of multiple location, uh, checking the stock of it, or transferring the stock from one location to another in ER for you. So businessmen in increasingly feel the need to expand their reach into new markets, and a result of this is that you will have to manage multiple locations. uh stock employees reports and stock transfer which in fact cause quite causes quite a few challenges in itself but today in er for you we will see how businessman can manage all this by sitting at one place and by easiest and efficient way so for that we will click on purchase management currently we have logged in as an admin panel having that is having a centralized access to all the uh, locations that is head office store 1 and store 2 right now we have logged in as an admin from the head office so here in the purchase management when we are taking in the stock for that again we'll select the supplier put the invoice number that we have and directly come to the barcode if there is one we can scan it or just leave it empty for the software to create one make the items uh, such as let's say these are some shirts which is in code if you want to put any gst number brand levis size l color black and quantity now here we can see three labels are given as quantity ho that is head office if you have logged in from the head office quantity store 1 that could be your store location 1 and quantity store 2 that is your store location 2 so here in the head office we'll have two conditions what makes er for you so unique from other softwares is that at the time of taking in the stock only you can particularly mention that in the head office if you are taking 50 pieces of these t-shirts and in the store location one you are taking 20 pieces of t-shirts and in store location two you are taking 30 pieces so here only if you are taking 100 pieces of t-shirts here you can bifurcate it that 50 are in head office and one and two have similarly 20 and 30 respectively or we can take all the items that is 100 pieces of t-shirts or shirts in the head office at first and we'll see in further in the video that how we can transfer the stock from head office to store 1 and store 2 so in that case we'll keep the whole amount that is whole number of t-shirts in the head office and store 1 and store 2 as empty now here purchase rate for 1 t-shirt that is 500 rupees if there is any tax mrp i can set it as 600 rupees and similar will be for other stores as well and a sale price for it here we can save this and print the barcode so here we have two options we can either print the barcode commonly uh, at the head office only and send them uh, to the particular stores or we can the stores can receive the items and they can print the barcodes on their behalf as well at their place as well so in that case here what we have done we have taken all the amount of pieces of shirts in the head office only and we have made the entry of it and now if you want to see this in our reports so in the purchase again here this is the purchase report now here we will see today state is selected the location is uh, for now all is over here and uh, if we again let's just keep it on all and press a view so here we can see this purchase detail that we just made has been updated over here if i click it on view and these are its purchase particular purchase detail so here we can see that quantity head of us showing as 100 now we want to transfer some stock from say head office to store 1 or store 2 for that again on the purchase management screen here just below transfer stock is written in the blue ribbon we'll just click on it here as you can see transfer stock that is from head office is written here we can select the location to which location we want to transfer the stock is it store location 1 or is it store location 2 so store location 1 has less a uh, quantity let's just say they need more pieces of shirts so here i can either search the item by its name or i can simply scan its barcode click on 
as soon as I so this item has come that is this shirt and here what amount of uh, what number of shirts that I have to transfer to store location one let's just say I want to transfer 10 pieces so here I'll just simply click on 10 press on tab above you can see total quantity and total sale price has been updated as I save this okay we'll see a small slip has generated the small slip has generated men mentioning that what the items is barcode is there what item is there basically it's a chalan slip for the transfer of stock and what quantity so as we send the items from head office to store one store location one similarly we can also send this generated slip from software along with the goods to be transferred so this is how we have seen how we have managed to uh, take the stock at one place only or take the stock in particular uh, location wise also location stores also here one thing will be of uh, most important to know that whenever we are transferring the stock through software or taking in the stock at those particular uh, stores each of the stores when they log in from their uh, place or their location they won't have to uh, do the again do the entry of the items or goods they have received automatically it will be updated in their particular software software location so this is how we can use the uh, transfer stock or uh, the intake of the store stock in particular location and similarly we can see how this can cut down our business travel its time and expenses and other uh, other activities that are involved in maintaining locations in different uh, stores in different locations so if you have any other questions regarding the location wise stores or transfer of stocks you can please mention them in the comment section below thanks for watching the video ashwatham with signing off bye bye